Hey robot makers, how you doing? I hope you're having a good day so far. So do you want to build the world's most advanced slash over-engineered Christmas tree bauble? It has its own built-in web server and can connect to the worldwide community of cheer lights. We've even got our the, the, the creator of cheer lights on the live chat uh, today. So uh, say hi to Hans, everybody who's uh, online at the moment. So if this sounds interesting to you, then this is the show for you. So let's dive straight in. My name's Kevin, come with me as we build robots, bring them to life with code and have a whole load of fun along the way. Right, let's get to it. So here we go. Oh, what's going on there? I just need to turn my notifications off. That's no good. You don't need to know about my... <laughs> Let's make sure that's all switched off there. Do not disturb. That's what we need. <laughs> awesome. Right. Cool. Yes. So this is all about the world's most over-engineered Christmas tree bauble. So we're going to have a look at what cheer lights are, which is one of the inspirations for this build. We're going to look at uh, Wheatley, the 3D model that I've created for this particular project. We're going to have a look at how the 3D principal parts all fit together. And uh, we're going to also have a look at some of the electronics as well, which are super simple, uh, thanks to Pimeroni. Then we're going to have a look at some MicroPython code and a bit of a demo. And if you're watching this live, we'll also have a bit of a Q&A at the end as well. OK, so let's get over to the... Uh, what it's all about. So what are chair lights? Chair lights are amazing. I only just recently discovered them. They're actually about 11 years old. So yes, this was created and I hope I don't butcher your name now Hans, but um, Hans Schala, he created these in uh, 2011 and uh, it's an Internet of Things project. So essentially what this is, is you can build something like um, you can get your Raspberry Pi Pico, you can get um, some LED strips, connect them together and then have the Pico W connect to the internet, connect to a very specific URL to grab a colour. And that colour is controlled by anyone on Twitter and they only all they need to do is just do hashtag cheer lights and then the name of a colour. So you want to check out what the actual uh, colours are that you can choose from, you can head over to the, the cheer lights um, website and you can check out what they what you can choose from there. You can also send like RGB colors and so on. It's really, really cool. And it means that they're all interconnected. So I can see at the moment we've got a, a few different colors uh, running at the moment. So if you want to you want to join in this, you can do hashtag cheer lights and then pick a color and it'll change in real time. So, yes, it's a, a way of connecting physical things with social networking experiences. I absolutely love this project It's the exact kind of thing that really uh, switches me on. I like this kind of stuff. So. Let's have a look at um, what the 3D printed model is I've created. So I was I was thinking about um, I was actually inspired by Toby from Raspberry Pi. Toby Roberts he he created a, a little tweet this week that had a picture of a, a star with some LED strips, and I was thinking I need to get into the the Christmas spirit. I know it's still November, but I need to start thinking about some projects, and I need to start thinking about what I can do and what I can bring to um, you know <laughs> the Christmas uh, spirit and the um, and, and the maker environment. So I was thinking, how can I make a Christmas tree bauble and how can I do it my style? <laughs> so somebody once said of me, it's actually been said a few times, I over-engineer things and I thought, well, I'm owning this. Let's over-engineer a Christmas tree bauble. So I was thinking about one of my favorite games is Portal and Portal 2. Um, and one of the characters on Portal 2 is Wheatley. It's one of the uh, core um, components on there. And um, it's an, I think it's an AI character that sort of helps guide you around the, the maze that is Portal 2. I love the shape of it. I love that it's round. I love the complex design of it. Uh, and I was thinking I could probably model something similar to this uh, in Fusion 360. And it's a bit of a challenge. Let's see if I can do that. And so the fact that it's round really works well with the, uh, the Christmas tree bauble idea. And I needed to make it big enough that it could fit inside one of the components I've been playing with recently, which is the Pimroni Plasma Stick 2040W. So I'm going to show you on the screen there. So what it is is a essentially a Raspberry Pi Pico uh, that's got some extra bits on it. It's got a Quest connector and it also has um, the this uh, terminal block so you can very easily plug in some RGB LED strips. So what I've essentially done here, if I just put this together just here, this, this is a failed 3D print that I did. It sort of stopped printing uh, for various reasons. So I've got two halves of a failed 3D print. But what this can easily show you on screen um, is just how this thing sort of fits together. So you can see that the plasma stick fits really nicely inside and we're going to have a cutout at the front here. I'm going to have uh, some electronics go in there, some RGB LED strips. So really nice and easy to design this. I'll show you the 3D model shortly. In fact, I'll show you it now. So it's made up of four 3D printable parts. It's two halves, as you can sort of see on this uh, sort of 
broken version. Uh, there's an eyepiece, so it's a small sort of coin sort of shape one that goes. There's a little channel in here that it f fits into, uh, which locks everything together. And similarly on the top as well, there's another little round section and things fit together nicely like so. So I'll call that the eyepiece. There's the top loop that's going to be um, got it just here, actually. This top loop um, allows us to plug in our USB cable to power the lights and also have something to sort of hold a string by. And the idea again with this is that this can sort of, if I just get the right orientation here, this can sort of slot into the top there and it's, it's kind of keyed in there. There's a little recessed area. So when these things sort of push together, um, it can sort of be held by that. So you can see how that sort of fits together. It's quite a complicated 3D model, actually. It took quite a while to sort of design this, uh, but I wanted to get it just right. And it's round like a Christmas tree bobble. So the left half of it, if you look at a section analysis of this, you can see how all the four parts will fit together. I've even included some screw fit fix fixtures and fittings. So in here, there is actually some round um, holes in there that are basically designed for a 2m screw and you can screw that in through the little recessed uh, areas which you can just see on the screen just about here there's one here and one down here so they can go through and then just sort of uh, stick the thing together what, what i found is when you've actually got these um, these pieces in place it actually push fits together and it's fine there's plenty of space inside for electronics you could probably even fit like a gallium battery in there with a um, a LiPo Amigo Pro as well, but I've decided I'm just going to have these plugged in all the time because why not? It's a Christmas tree lights are plugged in all the time. So the loop piece is very, very simple. Um, I'm, I'm going to redesign this very slightly just to make the opening a bit wider and the loop probably a bit taller just so that I can get the cable to go in nicely in a few different um, widths of cables as well because all cables are the same. The idea is you can attach some cord, some thread to that, attach it to your Christmas tree. Um, and nobody's actually mentioned about the Christmas tree that I've got in the the thumbnail for this video. I actually have a Christmas tree undecorated outside our front of our house. It's just a, uh, is it a fir tree, um, a fern of some kind. Anyway, and yeah, we just use that for the for the thumbnail. Anyway, so yes, you can use some th thread cord to attach to the hoop, to the loop, and then it also has this little. Um, I'll put it away now. It's got a little ridge to it just on the edge there that you can see probably a little bit easier on on here and this just allows it to sort of lock into place so the the top section is smaller than the the hoop section and, that, and therefore it locks into place when it's uh, um, it's attached to these pieces here there we go and it allows the usb cable to sort of push through the top as well so the eyepiece, um, this is allowing the LED lights to diffuse. So you can hot glue this, you can blue tack it. Um, and the, the unit I've actually found, um, I've called it an Adafruit Jewel. I think that's the, the sort of proper version of it, but I've got a slightly cheaper version. I think I actually got this at some kind of fair ones, probably the Liverpool Makefest. So this is a CJMCU. 2812 which is the name of the, the driver dash seven and seven is the number of led pixels that are on here you can see that they're arranged like so so great little device very easy to solder up just three wires uh, for this particular project and then you can just stick this onto this uh, 3d printable piece so that it can shine through i've just used a white pla that seems to have worked fine. You get a nice diffuse effect. If you've got an infill pattern, you can actually see the infill pattern through the LED lights. It diffuses it along the infill pattern. So I've used like a hexagonal shape uh, and it looks quite interesting. It gives a bit of extra visual aesthetic. Of course, the supporters. So this is a growing list and I'm really pleased that it's a growing list because it just means that we've got more support for the channel. So you can see there we've got um, We've got uh, Schultz Maker, our Schultz Maker, we've got Frank, we've got uh, Dana Hoff, we've got Grumpy Scrampler, we have um, uh, David, we've got uh, Matt Hungerford, we've got Flavia of Dev, Patrick. Our members, we have uh, Chemi, we have Steve, we have Thomas. And uh, YouTube members, this is a growing number of people. So we've got Cheer Lights, woohoo, thanks Hans. Um, we have Michael, we have uh, Frazier, we've got Bill, we've got Jose, uh, Jeff, uh, Joanne, uh, jo Johan. I'm not very good with my um, Spanish or Mexican kind of name. So is it, is it Jose and um, Johan? And um, 
we have uh, John Paul Jolly and uh, we've got Tom as well. Fantastic. Thank you, everybody, for um, st helping me with the channel by supporting it in these ways. And if you want to see your name on the credits here, just head over to kevsrobots.com slash credits and you can get yourself over here <laughs> as well. Okay.